Hello everyone, welcome to the Jewish Week Online. I'm your host, Aaron Herman. How do you blend technology and philanthropy? We have the opportunity to speak with Cliff Barrow, co-founder of the new iOS app, OI. OI allows users to vent frustrations for charity. Let's take a first look. When you hear that word, there's that um, that feeling of like angst. Um, but what you're doing uh, with uh, the OI app is uh, really something interesting uh, in connecting people and also making a difference. So talk a little bit about uh, the OI app. Sure. Uh, thanks for having me. Um, my partner Neil Centuria, who we call the OI in chief, uh, we're the OI boys. Um, but Neil had the idea this summer. Um, he was reading about all of the awful news in the world, um, and he was at home on the weekend, and I think it was Ferguson, it was Ebola rising, it was Putin in the Ukraine, it was Israel, it was just everything. And he said to himself, like, he said, oi, out loud to himself. And, um, and that's how the idea came about, which is... Um, that one of the ways, I mean, we created OI to be for Gentiles and Jews alike. It's not just for Jews, but you know, there is a, a kind of special quality of how the Jews for thousands of years have dealt with horrible news is to kind of share it and sigh a collective OI, and by doing it, you kind of get through it together. So the idea was the news is awful. Let's have a new way of sharing the news and a new way of sharing personal OIs, and... Um, Yes, have fun, uh, but then we also wanted to add some meaning to it as well. And one of the things that I really um, liked about the, the the concept is that you actually have a proven model now, in the sense of the, the Yo app, um, which you know when it first came out, people were like, "What is this doing? How is this going to actually be an effective tool?" But now we're seeing it integrated with major news sites uh, and um, in retail uh, stores. Uh, it was used uh, during, uh, you know, uh, during the war uh, this past summer to alert when rockets uh, were attacking, uh, you know, civilian populations in Israel. Um, so OI actually has a model that that you can say, oh, that, that actually can work. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I think clearly the whole history of these apps and and Yo included is we are communicate we're, we're communication animals. Like we love any new form of communicating. And since OI is an ancient lament, we're just amplifying it through technology. Sure. And, you know, with the, with the OI, um, there's that nonprofit connection where you're trying to raise, up, raise awareness for important causes. So how, how are you able to create that synergy? Thank you. Yeah, also um, an insight from my partner, Neil, um, was Kvetch, absolutely, it's important. Let's all complain. We have a lot to complain about. But after you fetch, do something, even if it's a small thing, to make the world a bit better. Takut alam, 
do something, you know, even in the face of all of this craziness and misery. So we've added very deliberately in OI the ability, just on the home page with a primary button, to find charities that you can go and in a couple clicks you can give money or learn about. But give money, give a little bit of money um, to make the world a better place um, while spreading your OIs personal and uh, communal. And you know, in this age of uh, people trying to get to zero inbox and people aren't reading emails anymore, they're really looking at videos now to make that engagement. But simple connections can make that difference. And just saying, oi, you know, it's something. It's that connection. Yeah, it's it's a it's a. There's so many emotions tied to it, and I don't know if you're aware, but the actual voice, the first voice in Oi, is actually the legendary comedian Carl Reiner. So, you know, he has 90 plus years of Oi in him. So every time you click that button and you're sharing an Oi, it's right now it's Carl's voice. Um, how did you get him involved in, in the process? We were very lucky. He was very gracious. We went through his handlers, and um, his handlers love him and um, and protect him. Um, but when he heard about it, he he laughed and uh, and listening to the outtake of his oys that he recorded for us is as funny as you can imagine. Actually, our phone line in our office, we took some of his outtakes and we play them. And um, so if you call us, you can get Carl and hear his outtakes. But he was very gracious and, uh, and just loved being a part of it. And we will be adding other celebrities, but he'll always be our first. So how, how do you go about now connecting to, to charities? So we started locally with some charities that we, are, we already knew. You know, we have the Girl Scouts. Um, we have a, um, something called Rosie's Network, which is uh, Wounded Warriors. And we have a charity, Voices for Children. Um, but they're the first charities. And we, over time, we hope to be more innovative and in even linking the charities with news so that you can read something and, and, and do something that's even tightly correlated to what is vexing you. Especially now is a time where it's the end of the year and people are looking to make their gifts. Now organizations are looking for that, that edge. A way to you know, it's not just direct mail. It's not just social media. Yes. To make that that new um, connection that will uh, create those touch points. And so, yep. oh, I can now almost like feed into that and we, you know, a tool. We do, and um, but humbly, we just launched OI, and uh, and you know, the first thing is like anything, it, we can only be effective for charities and organizations um, if we're effective in making people enjoy it and giving them that new way of communicating and learning and adopting and, and making it better and better. But um, it was important to us, even in launch, to bring in some charities so that we can learn together. Sure. And so now you're available on Apple. Uh, do you have any plans to go to Android? We have plans, of course, but there's not the immediate intention. You first want to make sure what we baked on Apple is working. and. Uh, and people are happy with it. And uh, we've actually started doing some Android coding, but we want to learn, see how people are using it before we have to support two pro two platforms. And you know, just going back, even just uh, the OI. You know, when when you you know you talk about the outtakes, it resonates between so many different people. If it's Jewish, non-Jewish, it's just yep. like everyone knows. Oi. <laughs> exactly. And uh, you know, we we joke that it is. The season of Hawaii, you know, uh, whether it's Thanksgiving, you know, being with Uncle Herman, who drove me crazy, still drives you crazy, um, traveling, you know, for the holidays, um, you know, whatever your religion is, this is a the winter's coming, flight delays, Hawaii, um, and um, and it's important to us. We actually curate the news, so we actually have editors who are out constantly looking for vexing, troubling miserable headlines and categories, you know, politics, sports, and business. And it's important to us that we're equal opportunity oyers because everybody has something to oy about, and uh, our job is to allow them to either find that public story or to share that personal oy uh, that captures what, what's in their minds. Where can people learn more uh, about oy? 
You can just go get the OI app. It's important that it's OY exclamation point. So if you go to the App Store, just OY exclamation, it's free. Uh, so there's no charge, OI. And, uh, or you can go to gettheoyapp.com. As you can see, OI is a wonderful platform to be able to vent one's frustrations and also make the difference in the lives of people in your local and global community. This is Aaron Herman, and thank you for watching. Thank you.